I know you have a lot of uh, great insight on tenant improvements. Any anything you'd like to share around that that would help uh, the someone listening and um, again, good deals, bad deals, and what people need to watch out for? Yeah, um, you know, TI is great, and the, the when you can negotiate good amounts of TI, especially in dental, where your cost per square foot to build is so high. It can really help you. It can help you scale, and it can help you grow faster, and it can help you with your loans. But you got to remember, uh, landlords are all looking at this kind of like as an off balance sheet loan, and so they're going to look to get that money back somehow if they're if you're negotiating higher than they're offering, and so that usually just comes in the form of rent. And so it what happens is they're you know kind of crunching their numbers, and they're usually going to put a little bit of interest internally on that. And so when your lease comes up for renewal in five years or 10 years, chances are you've kind of burned through all that TI, but now you've agreed to a 3% annual increase in rent. And that could really start to be painful if you're paying above market rent for that TI. So there's a balance there for sure. And it's different for everybody depending on your financial situation, but you don't necessarily want to take advantage of, of all of the TI when it's, it's going to increase your rent, right? So I'll give you an example. Like in Maryland, there is a tenant who put a um, million dollars into the TI for a restaurant and it failed after one year. And so now we're, we're working with a, a um, healthcare practice. We're going in there and we're clearing all that out, like clearing out that entire space to put in a medical user. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's just wasted money or it could trap you, right? Um, you, you don't want your um, landlord using that against you because they know you're not going to move because you just invested all that money um, when the lease is up. 